Hey, what's up, guys? This is Cody and the Cash Kelly and AC Sports Network bringing you the New Hampshire post-race video. Now, Tony Stewart won this race. It was another kind of fuel mileage deal. Clint Boyer was leading late, and uh, he ran out of gas. I would say Casey Kane probably had the best car all day, but uh, his fuel strategy was just a little bit off, and uh, he didn't have enough fuel to make it till the end, so he had to pit when everyone else didn't. And... Um, Keselowski was strong as well. I believe he finished second. And um, today was just the story of the chasers versus the non-chasers. Since it was so hard to pass, being New Hampshire, like I said in the pre-race video, um, there were a lot of chasers and non-chasers that were getting into it. Um, people telling people to get the hell out of the way, that kind of thing. Because um, they were just faster than them, but it's so hard to pass at that track. And it's like, um, the chasers just have to let the non-chasers go because they have something, the bigger picture to race for, and the people who aren't racing for the chase, the cup, that aren't in the chase, they don't, um, have anything to race for in the big picture except wins, because they know their championship hopes are out the window. One of the big stories of the day was Kurt Busch actually failed the pre-race inspection. He did fix the part on his car that was, um, <clears throat> not meeting requirements, and, uh, he got back out there. He wasn't penalized his starting position. He ended up starting fifth, where he qualified. And uh, a couple guys didn't finish too well that are in the chase. Hamlin, pretty much, uh, he doesn't have a chance at the championship now. Not that he anyone really saw him having one, just the way he's running this year. But he is now 66 points behind. And Ryan Newman also did not have a very good race. He finished in the 20s, and he is now 34 points behind the leader, which is getting to the point where he's almost a full race behind. So he really... I don't know how much of a chance he has, but he really has to pick it up. But Hamlin is probably out of this chase for sure, unless something catastrophic happens to these guys ahead of him in two races. And he has to still finish very well, which he hasn't done much this season. Um, in the big picture now, Tony Stewart with his second win in a row, second win of the season. Won both races in the chase. Last week at Chicagoland, this week here at New Hampshire. He is now the points leader, seven points out of Kevin Harvick and Brad Keselowski staying uh, consistent. He is only 11 points back of the leader. And uh, the rest of the guys, Carl Edwards is 14 points back, and then the rest of the guys from 5th um, to 10th uh, are 20-something points back. Whether from They range from 23 to 29 points behind leader Tony Stewart. And that's getting back there with the new point system, so they have to... Uh, start picking it up in the next couple of weeks. <clears throat> so uh, we're moving on to uh, Dover next week. I will have the pre-race video for you up on this channel. Thanks for checking out the Cash Kelly and AC Sports Network.